tastes a little bit like a contagious monkey. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for 12 Monkeys. This is one of the films suggested to me to review during this whole COVID thing. I'll be straight up honest. I don't like this movie as much as other people do. It's not because the film isn't well made. It's got a absolutely ridiculously dedicated set deck team. The production design in this film is phenomenal and on a level of insanity. And that's something that Terry Gilliam is known for, for being a perfectionist. That's also why I don't like it. I don't like Terry Gilliam movies. I understand what the appeal is. I understand why people like this guy. He is a very unorthodox British film director. He is the reason why Monty Python was the way it was. Monty Python is weird humor, but it's great weird humor. And I just feel that his odd and unorthodox sort of filming techniques just didn't translate well over into this film, even though it's actually a pretty well put together time travel movie. The film stars Bruce Willis as he's sent back in time to try and figure out what happened, what caused this virus to destroy over 90% of the world's population. Everyone lives underground now, animals rule the earth. First time he lands back in time, he actually goes to a psych ward and we meet Brad Pitt, who is this cuckoo bananas character and actually a very well done performance by Brad Pitt. One of the best performances he's ever done in my opinion. It does help that he has that fake eye that's droopy all the time. He is a different character from anything he's ever played before. It's one of the best performances he's ever done. Same with Bruce Willis too. Bruce Willis is just kind of looks like he's drugged out of his mind the, the whole movie and technically he is. There was actually a list that Terry Gilliam gave him of Bruce Willis movie tropes when they were filming this film, and he says, you can't do any of these. You see a much different character from Bruce Willis. And this is a time when Bruce actually really still cared about being a decent actor. And a lot of the actors actually took a pay cut to help this movie be made because they wanted to work with Terry. You can see that because the production design, the set design, getting freaking elephants to come through Philadelphia, if that's exactly what actually happened, that must have been an incredibly costly shot. It's kind of surprising that this movie was made by Universal, was produced by them, and the fact that the movie came out at all in a Western audience is still very peculiar to me because while the time travel aspects are pretty good the kind of mystery the multi-layered time travel discovery aspects of the film story are very well done i can't stand how this movie's shot everything is a goddamn dutch angle it's like watching battlefield earth admittedly there's a lot more work put into this it's not on the same level of literally hey tilt the camera this way tilt the camera this way. It is really helping put you into a sense of paranoia, putting you into a world of distrust and disillusion, which is pretty much what Bruce Willis is going through. His character, a little bit of a spoiler, does go back and forth in time a couple of times. He's kind of forgetting which is reality. He doesn't know where is where and when is when, and he's going all over the place. There are some times where he actually pops into different parts of time, which was pretty crazy. But the film's idea is that humanity really shouldn't rule the earth, the humanity should suffer this, that it's an unstoppable event, that it can't be stopped. Whereas Bruce eventually just wants to go back to a time where things were better, where he could breathe the fresh air. Other things that bother me are just the wackiness of this movie. Again, I'm not a fan of Terry Gilliam's weirdness. I understand why people are. It's just not my thing. It works for some elements of the film, but there's other parts where it just is comical. Like when they go into this abandoned theater house and there's this fight scene, and it's just the worst ADR, just some terrible, terrible sound. Which, by the way, that's something else throughout the film. There's a lot of very odd audio. It sounds like a lot of audio was recorded elsewhere, was recorded via ADR, because so much of it seems off with people's voice movements. It's just odd. It's just a really disjointed feeling of the film. And then the final nail in the coffin for me about this is that they play the same fucking song over and over and over and over. I got so sick of Dini, 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 Dini. You gotta have something else. What did you pay the composer literally for one song and that was it? But on the whole, I do appreciate 12 Monkeys for what it is. I appreciate how well made of a film it is. I appreciate its aspects. And I actually, I'm pretty impressed with the performances given by most of the cast in this film. It's just not my kind of movie. It never has been. I watched this movie a long time ago and I was bored watching it. And I watched it again. I fell asleep watching it several times this time. In the end, I'm going to give 12 Monkeys a 4 out of 7. Again, this is more so my personal opinion. I know some people really enjoy this movie. I can understand where you're coming from and you're free to have that opinion. This is just mine. I just, I just don't like this movie. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise... See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads.
It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.